this is where we have this biggest loading as far as the lower backing is concerned and so this is where we need the most stability so it's a very very heavily loaded area the thoracolumbar fascia depending on who you read and who you talk to has has several la layers and that the interior layer the sort of anterior layer the the the, the front layer if you like um, wraps itself around these tissues that you can see here which is psoas iliacus going up into quadratus lumborum um, and going reaching right up into the diaphragm so it's um, got several as I said three layers and this is the internal layer now it's it is slightly differently constructed on the uh, on the internal layer and we're not going to go into the huge details of it but essentially you've got this this big wrapping um, that wraps itself in and around like a figure of eight and it's very difficult to describe where things begin and end there's a word um, in anatomy which is which is decussation and this is where you sort of see um, an overlap and a blending of tissues without there being a clear line so whenever you go back and you go back and have a quick look at that and you see that you know they see that delineation of that line there it's pretty false it doesn't really doesn't really look like that. Similarly, when the thoracolumbar fascia is wrapping across the top of it, um, and you peel it back, well, you know, it's, it's not a, it's not a sort of a cut and dried um, beginning and end like we like to think it is.